Hello, in this video I show you how to model a triad in LT Spy. For this you need a tube model. I like the tube models from Korea and you can download them if you click on the link below this video. Here's the list of many tubes you find in this file and for this demonstration I will use the 12AX7 vacuum tube. Very, very popular in guitar amps or hi-fi amplifier. Next I open a new project in LT Spy and I draw a symbol. There's a symbol for the trial and I place it on the screen. Next I draw some resistors. These are necessary to define the operating point of the tube and I connect the wires to the resistor and to the tube. The next step is to add some ground lead to the resistor and define the values of the resistor. You only have to right click on the resistor and then you add the number, the right number of the resistor. Now we need the voltage supply for the tube. I place it on the screen and then I enter the value, the voltage value. This is 235 volts. And then I connect it to ground and to the resistor of the tube. This is the anode resistor. Now I draw a wire. This is the output of the tube. There we can measure the amplification later. The next thing is the load resistor. I will give it a very high value. And then we need the coupling cap. Now we have defined the output of the tube, but we need the input. For this I define the voltage and connect it to the input of the tube. You can simply add a voltage source, add it on the screen, and then you define the sine voltage. It has 0.3 volt amplitude and a frequency of 1000 Hz. Next I add a coping cap. And now I have to define the tube type. I select the 12 x 7 included in the Korean tube sync file. Next I have to define a spice directly and there I have to tell spice where to find the tube data. It is very helpful to put the tube data files into the same folder where you save the spice project. It makes it easy for the spice directive as you don't have to enter the full path to the file. I just enter the green tube sink into the spice directive and place it somewhere in the project. Now the spice has the data to calculate the tube. Next is to click on run to start a simulation. 
Before this, I have to enter the duration of this formation. This is 50 milliseconds. Now I click on the input. And we see that the sine signal is on the scope. And now I click on the output. And we see the amplified signal. And we have a working amplifier now. I hope you can use this tutorial for your own amp design. Goodbye.